person who is a master at rubbing salt in people's wounds. Doesn't pay taxes, doesn't even contribute to his own family charity. Doesn't pay his contractors. Takes the life savings of people that go to Trump you and don't get anything except Trump. Justice! But he's really good at making people mad. Hi, my name is Danny Williams. I'm here today. This is my first time on television today to talk to Alizon to prove to the world the truth about me being President Clinton's son. My first time in Austin, Texas, to tell the truth about my father, William Jefferson Clinton. I would like to tell Mr. Clinton that I want to shake his hand and introduce him to my kids, which is his grandkids. I don't know if he knows or not, but I got five kids, three girls, two boys, ages ranges from three to 13, and I would love for them to meet their grandfather. This is a true story. It's not fake. The DNA test was false. And I just ask you to believe in my story. You can look me up on my Facebook page, my Twitter. My name is Danny Williams. On my Facebook page, I got a fan page named Danny Williams Clinton. Look me up, inbox me, I inbox you back. I just want to thank everybody that has been showing me support, that uh, continue to show me support. And my story is true. So please, thank you. I'm here with Danny Williams. He claims to be the son of William Jefferson Clinton. Now, he's been trying to get his story out there for years. Um, you know, Danny, you say you just want to meet your dad. You want to prove the story once and for all. You want to get some finale there with the DNA test. Now, we know that CNN uh, and other networks have ordered a media blackout on this story. So right. you're only going to get it here. So I encourage everyone out there to share this video, share it on YouTube, share it to your Facebook page. We want some answers. Um, and then I know, of course, we can go to your Facebook page as well. Uh, but Danny, let's get right into it. So when did you first hear about being Bill Clinton's son? Basically, I've been knowing all my life. But for me to start realizing I had to be about like eight, seven years old. And, you know, my, I got a big family. So all of my siblings and my aunties, kids, and all of them, they all know. So they all, every, every, since we've been growing up, they say, uh, look at him. Don't he look like Bill Clinton? That's Bill Clinton's son. And, you know, people that we don't know know. And they'll say the same thing. You know, he, don't he look like Bill Clinton? That's Bill Clinton's son. And it's just, it's circled around Little Rock, Arkansas all my life. So I've been knowing basically since five years old. Mm-hmm. And so what, did your mother tell you this? Did your aunt? Right, correct. My mother, my aunt, my mother. Story never changed about uh, Bill Clinton being my father. She always told me. And, you know, I go into detail, ask her, how did you meet him or where? And, you know, she, she told me she used to date him on several occasions. So it never changed. And my aunt, she's consistent with her story the same. Mm -hmm. And so what did she tell you when you... T just kind of take us through the story that your mom would repeat. So basically my mom said, you know, I, I go, I ask her, I said, mom, I know I say, I had to been like either five or six, seven years old, but I, I went and asked, I said, mom, who, you know, I got tired of people going, oh, he looked like Bill Clinton, this is Bill Clinton's son. So I asked, I said, mom, I don't know, who is my daddy? She's like, sit down, let me, you know, it's going, you need to sit down and hear this. So she sat me down, she, you know, she told me that she used to date uh, Governor Clinton. And she was like, that's my father. You know, she go into details about how, you know, he used to come pick her up and she used to ride down to his mother home and hope and, you know, all these other things about him being my father. So, she, like I said, the story never changed. She always been consistent of the same story. Mm hmm And then so how many times, I guess, you know, I've, I've heard some people kind of just, I mean, this story is everywhere now. I'm seeing right. on Instagram, even memes, right. Facebook, but a lot of people commenting in the YouTube videos. How could your mom be convinced that you were Bill Clinton's son based on her profession? Based on her profession. I mean, my mom said that at the time she was the, he was the only Caucasian guy that she slept with at the time. And within that, I guess I say, I try to, Timeline it up. I said I was conceived in 1984 around May or March, somewhere like that. And at the time, she was saying that, you know, it was on several cases. He come, you know, three, four, five times the month of May, 1984, you know. It, so 
like I said, it's consistent. She said he was the only guy that she was dating at the time. So right when my mom got pregnant with me, she was pregnant with me and married my little brother, sister, and daddy. You know what I'm saying? So, which who I got the name Danny Williams from. So, I mean, he never told me he wasn't my father. But growing up, I knew he wasn't my father. I didn't look like him. From him being dark and my mama being dark, I knew that they won my. I knew that my my father won my father. So, you know, I I asked her, you know, who my father is. You know, she tell me, you know, be clean your father. And I said, how you know? She you know she tell me mm-hmm. on the uh, cases when she dated him or whatnot. And then, so what sort of things happened throughout your life to kind of validate this feeling that you had that Bill Clinton was your dad? What sort of things happened to confirm? It? Okay, um, basically, like you know, different articles that have been put out over the years from '93 all the way up to 1999, the fake DNA test, and you know. Me growing up and by me hearing that he's my father at the age seven to eight, so I goes and find pictures of him, this and then. I just look at him and I look at me and then, you know, it just, the pictures just start growing more and more, you know. Yeah, when I've seen the pictures, you definitely, right. you guys have exactly striking resemblance there. Well, now I've, I know you were um, talking about some different things that used to happen with the state troopers, uh, right. stuff like that, that kind of convinced you like, wow, that's a little odd. Right. My mom and my aunt Lucille Bolton has told me on, uh, cages where he, where Clinton had money delivered, seven one hundred dollars delivered every month to my mother's home placed in the mailbox and also Christmas present delivered on Christmas. And you know, that gave me another thought on, why he go out the way on doing this, you know, is he really my father or do he, is he trying to be in my life? So, you know, that make you think. Yeah. He was trying to do the right thing. Exactly. Uh, well, so when did that stop? Did that go on for quite some time? Many years? Everything stopped 1993 when President Clinton made president. Mm. Everything stopped. The, the people that had allegations about him having a black son, they called it the black sheep of the family which was written by uh, a preacher by the name of McIntosh that was, you know, putting articles about about me being Clinton's son. And he hushed up and, you know, everything stopped in 93. My mom wasn't receiving no more money, nothing. So mm-hmm. about 94 and 95 comes the uh, Globe, you know, different magazines, different, you know, news stations coming to do interviews on her having a black son. So, you know, all of that, all of those allegations, as I do my research, make me, you know, goes back to what was he trying to hide? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, because, you know, that was almost 10 years that you're getting these uh, exactly hundred dollar bills in the mail. Christmas presents, but then there was a, a, this alleged DNA test that came out. Exactly. Turns out there was no DNA test. Talk to me a little bit about that, which I think is so fascinating because if it was Star Magazine or The Globe or National Enquirer, the mainstream media is always quick to point out, well, that's the Enquirer. You can't trust right. anything that's coming out from them. But with this particular case, when when uh, when they said, oh, we got the DNA test, it's not true, it's, you move on, they took that story and ran with it with no exactly. proof didn't try to validate it for themselves. They just said, you know, much like what we see with anything that kind of happens with the Clintons and any f- bad stories. Right, exactly. I feel with the DNA test that took place in 1999, I feel that it tried to discredit my story on the truth of me telling my story as in when I got older. I, I feel like it discredited me. Plus, at the time, she was running for Senator of State, 99-2000. So, you know, it's just... Different thoughts and different, you know, you don't know how, I don't know how, you know, they was playing it, but I feel like they was trying to discredit my story and me proving who I am today. So, of course, they would want to put some type of intimidation to silence your story, discredit you, of course. But yes, ma'am. what type of things did they do to kind of have your mom hush up from telling this story? Well, about, I, I, I put a time, I'd say about 97, 96, 98, somewhere in there. Uh, they was trying to make my mom hush up. Like I said, she she did her article in 93 that she passed polygraph tests. Consists of her story today. She passed 100% on the saying she can describe how she went occasions to his mother's house, how she, you know, on dates when she was with him. 
you know, and then like she still speak the same thing today. So, I mean, my biggest thing is basically they was trying to hush her up, you know, because my mom was pushed out a two story window. And from my understanding, we thinking that either state troopers or secret service members was trying to hush her up on her talking about her having a black son with the President Clinton. So, you know. And I overheard you talking about, uh, talk to me about the state troopers kicking in your, your door. Right. The first picture they ever got of me was when I was a baby. And my parents didn't, my mother didn't sell the picture. To, she didn't never call Globe. They came to my granny's house, kicked in her door, and took the pictures of me off the wall. And from doing that time, I was young, I was I was a kid, and my mother then was hiding me out from Memphis. I felt like, they felt like they was trying to, you know, have her hushed up and or have something done to me, so. Okay, so let me back up. So who kicked in the door? What, explain that to me. Who who took the picture, why? I can't explain it on who and why, but from my understanding, we thinking it's, from my understanding of hearing my aunts and my mom, we thinking it's Secret Service or State Troopers, and far as in why, like I say, they was trying to, I guess you called it, um, a crisis to his campaign at the time because he was running another term in 1995. So I guess they were trying to hush it all up before it got out. So they they didn't want any of your baby pictures that looked, that they that they could put side by side with the Globe or how, who. Correct. Had, they didn't want them to be able to have those pictures, so they just took them off the wall? Correctly. My, my parents, my grandparents don't have nothing, no baby pictures of me to this day. Hmm. Wow, that's incredible. And then, so what have you done to try and get into con in contact with Bill Clinton? When did you first go on to Facebook and start trying to talk to him? My Facebook page is, that I run now, I, I put this out two and a half, almost two and a half years ago. But before I started my Facebook page, I, I wrote letters. I Google, I Google addresses to New York on, on Clinton. I Google addresses to Washington. I Google everything I could think of, his library. Everything I think of, I wrote letters. I emailed I emailed him. I, I looked up his Facebook page. I tried to inbox him, you know, articles of me saying I'm his son and, you know, asking him to reach out. No one ever reached out to me. I tried to hire lawyers and investigators. No one looked into my case. No one believed in me. Mm -hmm. Wow. H have you ever seen him in person or Hillary Clinton? Have you ever tried to talk to them? I never met Bill in person. I went to one of Hillary's campaigns because I'd never been in their presence. I wanted to see how it felt to be in her presence. So in Little Rock, uh, we got a college called Philander Smith College, which is a black owned college. She done a campaign there and she was campaigning on her, you know, running for office. So the things that she spoke about, I felt like she was speaking them towards me and like when she did it, she made eye contact. She made sure that I understood what she was saying, basically. And, you know, I felt I felt like it was targeted at me. What was she saying? Um, I mean, she was talking about how her grandkids going to have the the best, how uh, her mother, you know, how they raised her and how they went, you know, always there or whatnot. She just, it, it's, it was constantly on her, her daughter Chelsea, her grandbabies, constantly. So, so she was talking about being the grandmother and, and you know, how she understands and. And how her grandkids will have the best, you know, the best opportunities. So do you think she was talking about Chelsea's children or yours as well, kind of as a wink and a nod? Hey, I see you. We'll no, I know it wasn't mine. I think she was talking about Chelsea's. Mm -hmm. And so talk to people, you know, that I, I'm sure people out there think, oh, he's just going to try and extort them for money. He just wants to make them look bad because it's a campaign. What is this about for you? It's not a, a political motivation for me. It's not about money. It's about the truth for me. All I want is the truth. All I want to do is be knowledge known by my father. Yeah. And, and you want, I mean, if she's so proud of being this grandmother, I know that's a kind of a message that she's, that she's speaking. Exactly. Out. I mean, I got kids myself now and 
they ask me, who's your dad? You know, I tell them, they, you know, it's hard for them to believe it because they never seen this guy, never, you know, he never been around me personally. So, you know, I tell him, you know, I'm going to make sure you meet him one day. And that's what I want. I want him to be able to meet his grandkids. Mm. Well, I've seen pictures of them. They're quite beautiful. So uh, I guess um, if you, you know, if you could take this one opportunity, because there are going to be a lot of people mm -hmm. that are going to take a look at you and look at those pictures side by side with Bill Clinton and Correct. say, OK, come on. That's a very uncanny resemblance Correct. there. And, you know, Bill Clinton, he hasn't been looking so healthy lately. <laughs> you know, this could be your last shot to redeem yourself and turn that karma around. Uh, what do you want to say to him on behalf of yourself and your children? I just, I just want to, I just want to be able to stand up in front of him and, you know, let him know who, who, you know, I know he know who I am and let him know, you know, I'm, all I want to know is the truth about me and him and, 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 and to get to know him because he was a great president. He was a great man. I mean, if he didn't do great by me, that don't make, me hate no one. I just like I just want to have that chance to meet this great man and, and be able to be a part of his life before you know he dies. You know, our, our time is, his time is winding down. I mean, you can see it. You can see his health is bad. So, like like I said, I want my my kids to meet their grandfather. And that's I gotta commend you on that because this is like a really politically charged time, and you're right. not out there trying to make the Clintons look bad. You're not no. out there trying to say Hillary's. Is I don't vote. I'm not voting for Trump or Hillary. I'm not voting. I haven't voted. I, I don't. I don't. You know. I don't. I felt played all my life about him being my father, so I, that's the reason why I never vote. I mean, because I feel like it's all lies that they give us. Mm. I mean, I don't think they really care. Mm. And not just me. I don't think they really care about America. Yeah. And they stand up and say they do, and they have to face it. Mm. They have to, you know, answer to this publicly, you know? Right. Well, if you can just, you know, this kind of goes to the moral compass of the Clintons. If, you know, this is something like that personal within their own life. Exactly. Yeah, you got to prove that you care about your own family. Take exactly. responsibility for your own life before you can say you, you're going to run the whole Exactly. Life. You you hear saying that you able to run the world. I mean, you run the country. So you, I mean, why not? Mm. Well, let people know what's the best way to get in contact with you. Um, I know that there are going to be some brave people in the media out right. there who aren't going to bow down to that blackout order. Um, how can they get in touch? Exactly. I've been pushing my Facebook for two and a half years now. You can contact me at Danny Williams on Facebook. You can find me on Twitter. Um, you you can find me on Twitter, uh, Instagram. My Facebook, I got two Facebook pages. I got Danny Williams, then I got Danny Williams Clem, which is my fan page. Inbox me. I inbox you back. I inbox mostly all of, as much as I can that respond to me. I thank all of my supporters. So you can find me on any one of those websites. So, Danny, what does your mom think about this? Is she, is she proud of you for, for being brave and fearless and pushing for this? Right. My mom's proud of me. At first, she told me, no, they'll have you killed. They'll silence you. They're dangerous. But I told her, you know, this is something I got to live with and something that I'm going to live with because I want to know the truth. Mm. I take my chances in doing what's right and sacrificing. If, if I am sacrificing my life for doing what's right, then that's my chance. I take it. Mm. Well, thank you so much for being brave and putting your story out there. I know that, you know, you're you're taking a huge risk just as we are to kind of go up against Correct. the Clintons for your family as well. But it is about the truth. And that's kind of the thing is it's not about the fruit of your actions. It's about the actions and making sure you're taking the right ones. Correct. Um, thank you so much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen. Wednesday night is the biggest presidential debate in United States history. And we have full coverage for you at Infowars.com slash show. We will have all our reporters on this desk, on another desk, behind the scenes, cutting up tape, analyzing what the two presidential nominees say. We will also have boots on the ground in Las Vegas 
talking to people on the street, scoping the scenes, getting a feel for the atmosphere. We're going to have all of it for you on Infowars.com slash show. So be sure when you're thinking about where to go for the presidential debate on Wednesday night, remember that we will have live coverage for you at Infowars.com slash show. The best coverage covering all angles, real fact checking moment by moment with everyone from our talented team on the scene. And don't forget, of course, Alex Jones himself will be live breaking down all the lies from Hillary, all the powerful comments from Trump, and everything in between, including the moderators. The best place for presidential coverage, the best place for debate coverage, is Infowars.com slash show. Be sure you're there on Wednesday night. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockouts it, InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA, so it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced, and it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com, or call 888-253-3139.